the right bow. Watch her do it, Betty Becker. Just right on the wind, please. Feather, feather. As soon as the wind gets light, she just makes sure the sail's not low. See the difference in angle here. She can change the feather just a little bit better than. See how the not change the main too much. We'll make this sail flatter for the next race. Of the most veteran Sabbath sailors right here and you just see the main doesn't change much if they get a big puff they'll burp it just a little and then they let the boat round up just a little she doesn't worry about healing too much she's having to fight the rudder just a little but it's just the boat just feathered he sails really far forward he's he's look how tight he is on the main they're just right on the wind but they never let it slow down. Savit is a feathering boat. You see that once they get up to speed, they are right on the wind. They get it up to speed, and then they let it go right on the wind. Yeah. yeah. One of the best Sabbath sailors right there. Anytime they get slow, they look up at their sail. Just, just triple checking. Yeah, huge buff. once in a while and seeing if it's stalling. Kylie's a little tight with that old 9429 sail. That's a older sail. Lee board will stall quite a bit. She's, I mean, she's doing what she thinks is right, which is trimming tighter because she's got a boat to lure it over. And here we go again. See how you find your sweet spot on the main sheet. And then it's just a matter of using the rudder towards you a little bit and then let it climb up. It's gotten lighter since we started. That was about a 12 knot, 13 knot puff, and now it's back down to nine. It's a different wind angle. But this is very good. She's tight right now. And then she plays her main sheet just a little. Again, the thing we're looking at is the consistency of the boom trim. You're not seeing, you're not seeing the booms going in and out a lot. You're seeing like one, two, three inch little adjustments. Tiller pusher, you'll see he's actually pushing the boat upwind a little bit more than others. He's 
rarely pulling the tiller towards him too much, actually. And I think that's because his leeboard is so far forward. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so, here's one of the best Sabbath sailors we have. He's literally sailed these boats for like 70 years. And what did he do on the tack? He let go of the tiller. When people, when I tell people to tack, you let go of the tiller. Wow, he really forces the bow up a lot. He just eased in that puff and then he pulls it right back in. He doesn't mind healing a little bit. You're digging the lure chine in at the same rate you're lifting the leeboard out, so it's really kind of a wash, actually. You can see how, again, the mainsail shape does not change much. That's one of the biggest differences between a good Sabbath sailor or a good sailor and a bad sailor is bad sailors, their sails have all kinds of different shapes going on with the main sheet tension. So they're always making sure they're going fast. See how the boat's scooting through the water? And then he's letting it climb up just to, just to feather, just a fraction. He's pushing his, his back against the rail really hard with his legs right now. And he just, he barely, he didn't even let the mane out. He's just right. He's just flying it like a little airplane. She's probably 50 pounds lighter than him, so she's on the rail, sailing exactly the same way, just barely pulling the tiller towards her when the boat, when the sail lost. Her main, her sail is, it's really not moving around. 